Entrant, Terraforce Retaining Walls. Owner Occupier, Cape Peninsula University of Technology. Consultants, KFD Wilkinson Consulting Engineers. Main Contractor, Ruacon. Subcontractor, West Coast Retaining Systems. Precast Producer, Klapmutz Concrete. During the drought in 2017, the Cape Peninsula University of Technology CPUT, Belleville campus announced that all their existing green spaces were being irrigated with recycled water that is collected and pumped into an on-site lake. In August 2020, to comply with City of Cape Town's bylaws and regulations for stormwater management, this lake was extended and upgraded to increase the capacity of the existing retention pond, as well as refurbish the existing outlet and inlet structures. The capacity of this pond is now greater than ever and has been improved in terms of aesthetics and functionality so that the campus can deal with flooding and drought alike. Says Douglas Curran, CPUT's chief horticulturist, it's been nearly 30 years since the treated effluent water is used to irrigate the sports fields and their drainage system collects the water and sends it to the campus lake which pumps it back to the dam. The irrigation system ends up using the same water five times. West Coast Retaining Systems, Terraforce Recommended Contractor, was contracted by Ruacon, a leading construction company in Southern Africa, to install the Terraforce L12 interlocking retaining blocks along the edges of the pond. Says Honest Mostert, the existing pond was losing a lot of water, and that is why CPUT decided to build a 420-meter long retaining wall around its circumference. The blocks were installed on a 750 by 300 mm, 25 mpar concrete foundation, with drain pipes running behind the entire length of the wall. All blocks were concrete filled for extra stability. In some places the wall had to be built higher to accommodate some big trees growing along the pond boundary, to protect their roots from too much water ingress. Albert Bota, Contracts Manager, Ruacon, adds that even though installation proved difficult with rain, sludge, and groundwater seepage, the end result was a resounding success, once these challenges were overcome, the verges of the pond were grassed, and a family of ducks introduced to the area. Visually the pond now showcases a lush, green, and peaceful setting that students and animals can enjoy alike. On a functional level, leakage is curbed, and more water will be available for future water shortages.